what better way to feel how old you are, how brief your existence is, and to question the importance of your life than by talking about how old movies are. Hey guys, this is a new segment I thought about starting, mainly because I saw that The Dark Knight turns 10 years old this year in July, and that made me feel old as hell. So I thought that I would do a segment talking about movies that turn 10 years old, some that we know, some that we don't, and I thought this would be a kind of an interesting retrospective and also really kind of hit you in the gut early in the morning, reminding you how old you are. So this will be a short little series I do throughout 2018 talking about movies that came out in 2008. And I thought, what better way to start than with the movie Cloverfield? Cloverfield was directed by Matt Reeves, written by Drew Goddard, and produced by J.J. Abrams, and was released on the 18th of January in 2008. It still baffles my mind that this movie, which had such a huge conspiracy following, and actually has such a cult status following, was released in January which we all know now as the gutter trash of movie releases. This was a movie that came out pretty much at the pinnacle of technological knowledge in terms of how to promote a movie on the internet. The internet was still not used as much for promoting movies as obviously as it is now. There was movie trailers, normal promotions, all that sort of stuff, and then there was the internet. The internet was still a new player in the game, and the guys behind this movie used it to its ultimate advantage. The trailer that came out was actually really a short summarization of the first 10 minutes of the movie with the party. You're kind of wondering what was going on because it felt like you were watching a movie and then the attack happened and the short little clip ended with the Statue of Liberty's head rolling in front of you. That hooked everyone. Especially the fact that they didn't give the movie a title either at the end of the trailer. They just said when the movie was coming out. Absolutely fantastic. It did, however, leave a website. What it had was a lot of fake promotional videos and photos of animal attacks, sightings of a giant creature and whatnot, but it didn't really allude to anything. It just left you little Easter eggs inside. And obviously this blew up on the internet. People were theorizing what it was, they were wondering if this was a Cthulhu movie, they had all of these ideas. Admittedly when the movie came out some people weren't as happy with the result. It was sort of kind of like a No Man's Sky situation. Nowhere near as bad admittedly, but the idea that the theories took a hold of the movie and promoted it to an area that the film just could not contend with. But it was still a decent film. It's probably one of the better, if not one of the best, handheld movies ever made. Handheld movies weren't a big thing yet, mainly because this was not a cheap handheld movie either. This was a big production. It just so happened that the story took place from a camera. And that was probably one of the more interesting aspects of it. This film gave people the idea of what a survivor's perspective would be in such like a Godzilla attack. What also surprises me is TJ Miller was HUD. He's the guy who's holding the camera. I can't believe that he was in this movie. And the movie is kind of average. The story is a little bit simplistic. The characters aren't really that memorable. And really you're more interested in what's going on with the monsters, the whole mystery, everything of the aspect of the event is much more interesting than the characters themselves. But like I said, the movie is a gem of its promotion, as it is something that we will probably never experience again. Because of the vast limitations of the internet, nothing can be kept secret anymore. People are able to figure out plot twists and all other manners of secrets in films nowadays that are so easily can be shared on the internet. And because of that, that's what makes Cloverfield all the more memorable, is because of its promotion and just what it means in terms of promotion to film, as well as just an era that was very brief because not too long after Cloverfield the internet just took over and it became the main conduit of promotion for films. Anyways guys that's the end of the first episode of movies that are 10 years old now. I'm gonna try and make this a regular thing because 2008 was an interesting time for me. I was actually starting to see movies by myself at this time, which my high school friends thought I was very strange for, but I just enjoyed the movie going experience and this was sort of the build up to me being what I am now as a short time movie reviewer. But anyways, keep an eye out, these reviews are going to be kind of random, but they will always be on the date of the movie's release. So if you like this video and you like this idea, leave some comments down below, talk about what you remember of Cloverfield, and then maybe talk about other movies that you remember that came out around the similar time. So guys, if you like this video, leave a like, and if you're interested in seeing what I talk about next, maybe hit the subscribe. Anyways guys, that's all from me. I'll see you on the next video.